hey guys welcome to my channel so today we are going to be drafting this two part corset you're seeing on your screen with the size structure okay so if this is something that you're interested on in, stay with me let's get started on the table i have my pattern paper laid down we're going to be drafting a busy body pattern okay so first i'm going to be marking my shoulder measurement which is seven inches my shoulder is 14 divided by two is seven inches okay so i'm going to proceed to the shoulder line i'm going to mark three inches for neck width like i say we are drafting a busy body pattern first okay so and from that shoulder line i'm going to be marking vertical measurement which is my from my shoulder to my bust line the bust line is 10 inches and i'm going to connect that line there so the next i'm going to be taking my under bust measurement from my shoulder again to my under bust is 13 inches okay if you don't know your under bust measurement just mark out three inches below your bust line you will get your under bust okay so the next i'm going to be taking out my waist measurement my initial waistline i usually use 16 inches for some of the things i'm making either dress but on this one i'm making use of 17 inches okay so i'm going to mark 17 inches here i'm going to repeat the same measurement to get an accurate line so the next is going to be my top length my top length is 21 inches i'm going to mark my 21 inches right there so i'm going to draw this line to create my top length so we are done from here so i'm going to come up from my bust line to mark two inches above to create my chest line okay so i'm going to draw this line to create my chest line so from my chest line i'm going to impute my half of my shoulder measurement which is seven inches my shoulder is 14 so divided by two is seven okay i'm going to draw this line to create my armhole so i'm going to mark one inch below from this line here to create my shoulder slope and then i'm going to connect from there to meet with my neck neckline okay so i'm finding the midpoint of this one which i have 3.5 inches and then from my chest line i'm going to be uh, marking my half of um quarter of my bust circumference which is 8.5 inches i mark it there my bust is 34 divided by 4 is 8.5 so i'm going to connect this to create my armhole okay so now that we are done from this part so i'm going to be imputing my half of my um uh, bust pan measurement which is 3.5 my bust pan measurement is 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 so i mark it from my bust line not from the chest line okay please pay attention to the part okay the part where i mark my impute my bust pan okay so i'm going to mark one inch below from my bust line i'm going to mark one inch below okay so this is where i'm going to be connecting all my my dots point okay so i'm going to come to my shoulder po uh, point there find out whatever uh, numbers that i have i'm going to divide it by two to find the midpoint so i'm going to connect it from there to meet back to my bus line okay so um we are done from this part now so moving back to the major major part where we are going to be creating our corset so from this point here from my waistline i'm going to be taking out 0 0.5 inch on both sides okay please pay attention to see where i'm marking i mark 0 0.5 inch on both sides while from the top length i'm just taking out one point zero point zero point two five okay no 0 0.125 that is what i'm taking out from here okay 0 0.125 i just need to add this there if not we don't really need any that from this point but because we are going to cut it all complete so yes it's going to be there for the meantime but where i'm going to make my connection is from the waistline okay so please pay attention and see where i'm marking so you may be wondering why i'm using a pencil the truth is that if you're working with a corset you need an accurate line you don't need to add much line to your measurement so it will not affect your measurement okay so that is why i'm using a pencil so um i hope you can see the line uh, clearly okay i will show you the necessary part where you need to use a boat uh, you will say we well, need to see it boldly so i connect those one uh, 0 0.5 inch on both sides to meet to the part where i mark 0 0.5 inch below okay uh, sorry where i mark one inch below that is where i connect my that to so i also find out the different the distance between my bust line from my bust line to my under bust which is three inches right 
so i'm going to be repeating marking this three inches round so that i can get on my cup measurement okay so as you can see my tape is placing on my bust line okay exactly at my bust line so i'm taking marking three inches all the way round so that we can create our corset uh, cup okay so this is what you need to do so once i'm done uh, marking all these circles so then we are going to uh mark i'm going to be taking out a 0 0.5 from the dark uh, that length that is for my underboss okay i'm marking 0 0.5 inch please see the part where i place my tape so i'm going to connect that um i'm going to connect it like that to me to my waistline just the way you see me doing okay so the next i'm going to place my cuff like this to connect it from that under boss just like the way you see me doing i'm connecting it to me to the part where i mark one inch below from the boss line okay i hope you can see it clear so the next i'm going to do to find out how many inches i have between here i have a uh, 1.5 inches okay so i'm going to come up here above the above the chest line okay i'm going to mark uh, 0 0.5 inch from this part then this part now that i mark is one inch okay so instead of me to marking divided into two i i split it one side is bigger and the other side is smaller okay so i'm going to place my tape like you see me doing and connect it to me to my boss line not the part where i mark um one inch below okay so from this part here from the chest line i'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch below okay so i'm marking 0 0.5 inch below from here and then i'm going to mark from that part where i put my 0 0.5 inch i'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch uh vertical okay i mean no horizontally okay like you see me doing okay so the next thing i'm going to do from this part there okay i'm going to uh come back again i'm going to mark take out a uh, 0 0.25 out marking 0 0.25 out from there and also the same thing i'm going to do for the other part to, for boss tightening and also to avoid her gaping okay so i'm going to just connect this part here okay so that you can see that it's all connected together so just in this part in this form and then i'm going to get my french cuff ru uh, ruler so that i can make this a proper connection as you can see i'm not using the part that is more curvy okay so just watch and see how i'm doing it if you are very good with freehand use your freehand but if you're not if you have any of this um uh, a cuff or any of this uh, french cuff ruler you can use them to create your cuff okay so now that i'm done from this part I, i'm done completely done so the next thing now i'm going to place my french cuff just the way you see me doing to connect the center front cuff like that okay I'm going to connect it from the part where I mark 0 0.5 inch uh, horizontally and stop there. You see, as you can see, the cup is started forming already, right? So moving on to this part here, between the armhole line there, okay, between that cup, between the armhole line, I'm going to divide it by 2. So whatever number that you have there, divide it by 2, okay? And then I'm going to go down. I'm going to draw this line a bit down, okay, to uh, have as a guideline first. So from that part now, I'm going to go down by 0 0.5 inch, okay, to create my new chest line, okay. I'm creating my new chest line there, and I'm repeating this measurement twice so that I can have a accurate line. Then once I'm done getting the numbers, then I'm going to connect it now. So this is my new chest line, okay. So now I can now connect make a proper connection from this so you're going to place your tape or whatever thing you're going to use to cut make sure you connect it in the manner that even though if you join it together from the other cup it will blend together okay so that is it so the next i'm going to now create the proper cup now by using my french cup ruler place it to meet to the part where the that leg stop okay from this point here i'm going to connect it like that then i'm going to switch to this part also from the center front side i'm also going to place my tape like that my french curve and then i'm going to connect it like that so basically this is my two-part corset okay 
so this is the cup this is how the cup is going to look like okay so the next now i'm going to be adding my uh my vertical measurement my rambo circumference divided by four is 8.5 plus these two inches here from the cup okay and uh, plus 1.5 inch sewing allowance right so next i'm going to come to my underboss my underboss is 29 divided by two, 4 is 7.25 plus 1 inch this uh, 1.5 inches here i'm going to place it there then plus additional 1.5 inch for sewing allowance then move on to my waistline my waist is 7 inches plus the 1 inch that intake from here okay that is 8 then plus additional 1.5 inches so i'm going to connect all this line now so the next now we're going to move on to my blouse length that is the hemming part okay i'm going to be imputing my hip measurement okay from this part i'm imputing my hip measurement my hip is 10 inches and i'm adding 1.5 inch for this part for sewing allowance okay for stitching allowance okay then move on to this below here i'm going to be adding additional three inches okay i'm going to mark three inches below that that is the extension from that curve okay so i'm placing my tape like this okay i know this is the part where you you want to know how i did it so i'm placing my curve this way look look for the the curvy part or if you can use your free hand then you can create as much as curve you want okay so from this part now i'm going to switch to this part also and then i'm going to make additional curve again so you're taking it all curve to to meet to the part where you mark three inches below okay so basically this is it if you're very good with your free hand use your free hand use your free hand and create the curve okay so i'm going to mark impute my bust pan measurement from this part here so that i can have a straight line all the way to the middle okay so i'm also going to be taking that 0 0.125 that i took from the the other uh, line okay i'm repeating that same 0 0.125 from this part here so that i can place my tape my french cuff from there and i'm going to connect it all the way to the to to the waistline okay in fact to the under bust line okay so basically this is the pattern for this tutorial and um the next this part here we don't need it again okay we don't need this part this part is going to be cut out okay but before i will cut out uh i'm not going to cut it into pieces completely because i want to use it to get my back pattern first okay because i want to have accurate uh curve and um also i don't want to spend so much time drafting at the pattern so uh, the back pattern so once i don't cut out like this i'm going to get the the remaining part the pattern that I was working with and um, I'm going to be marking taking out some allowance to just keep two inches allowance just in case of a zip allowance okay so once I'm done I'm going to arrange my front pattern on the fresh pattern like it okay so that I can get the I can trace out the shape of the front so uh, there is mistake I did so the mistake was that I did not take out the uh, the allowance that i added for the that that is the that allowance from the under boss and the that allowance from the boss line okay i forgot to do that so please remember to do that okay so one well after i've done trace out all this part okay the that part and also my chest line and my boss line okay also my uh, waistline also i need to trace i trace it out also so i'm going to place my cuff like this my ruler and then connect it just the man the way you see so right now i impute my bust band measurement from this part and then i'm going to connect from the waistline okay so i'm imputing my half of my bust band measurement which is 3.5 inch so i can get a straight line to the end of my blouse so from the waistline i'm going to be taking a 0 0.5 inch on both side okay because uh, there is a dart from the back from the chest line i went down by one inch and then i make my connection like that so this is the back pattern so i'm going to extend this line out because i need to impute my zip allowance 
so from the waistline i'm going to be minus uh, marking a one inch from the chest line here i'm marking 1.5 inch okay i mark one inch for zip allowance from the waistline and then to the the hemming part i mark 0 1.5 inches okay uh, if you want to eliminate that zipper pouch from the waist if you're taking one inch or two inch from the chest line you're taking now uh, um 1.75 just to eliminate the zipper pouch okay but if it's 1.5 you're taking one inch so from the chest line here of the back i also take out a 0 0.25 to for for the for bust tightening or the chest tightening so i'm going to connect it like this just the way you see me doing okay so this is the back and the next i need to impute my sewing allowance since the back doesn't have cuff okay we don't have the cup so i, I will just uh, add my sewing allowance from the back the, but the front i will be adding my sewing allowance while i'm going to cut on the fa fa fabric okay so basically this is my back pattern so I'm going to label a C back, that is the side back and the center back, okay? So the same thing to the front. So this is the front pattern now. So I'm going to start by cutting it. So please watch carefully to see the part where I'm cutting, okay? So I hope you learned something new today from this channel. And uh, if you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, please kindly do so. And don't forget to turn on your post notification so that you will not miss out the sewing tutorial and other goodies that will come in between okay so if you have any complaint you can reach me out on my social media on my instagram so i'm going to leave my handle on the screen in fact you can just search on uh, julia rack on the uh, instagram you will see my account okay so if you have any question if you're finding anything difficult just reach out to me if i see your message i will definitely respond okay so um uh, Stay tuned for the sewing tutorial, okay? Bye!